Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to configure S2C module to communicate with the older S2 and S1 modules. As such, the old S2 module cannot talk with S1, but the new S2C can talk with S2 or S1 modules. Let us see how to configure this. First, let us uh, test for S2C with S2 for which we make use of uh, XB USB adapters plug on S2C module on one USB adapter and S2 module on another USB adapter plug it to the USB uh, ports of your laptop open the XCTU and then select the COM port where S2C module is connected and load the settings port settings is uh, 9608 and 1 the product family is XB24C and the function set is Zigbee THREG this is for S2C let us make this as coordinator for this set the PAN ID as 1234 destination low address as uh, FFFF that is broadcast mode and CE is enabled coordinator a node identifier is given a name coordinator you can provide any name provide a name coordinator click on right button to save the changes now again click on the search button on top and select the com port where s2 module is plugged on click on the s2 radio to load the settings we shall make this as router for this we have to upgrade the firmware that, that is how we do it on S2 module click the upgrade firmware on uh, the icon seen on top and select XB24ZB and function set is Zigbee router 80 select this firmware uh, function set firmware and click on finish to upgrade Set the PAN ID as 1234, same as coordinator, and enable the JV, join verification. Set the destination address DL as uh, 00, that is the address of the coordinator, and provide a name for NI as router. Click on write to save the changes. Now S2 module is router and S2C is coordinator. Close this uh, radio and select the S2C module on this XCTU window. Open another instance of XCTU and click on the search button. Select the COM port where uh, S2 router radio is selected. Now place the XCTU windows side by side. These are the settings we have done uh, for S2C coordinator and the S2 router. Click on the terminal icon on top and lock the serial icon on both the XCTU windows. Now you can type some message on S2 router which will be received by the coordinator S2C. And if you type some message on coordinator S2C, it will be received by S2. So S2C talks with S2 module. We can also make the S2 module as coordinator and S2C as router. For this, go to the settings window and click on upgrade firmware. Select the XB24ZB function set uh, Zigbee coordinator 80 and load it onto the S2 module. PAN ID is 1234, DL is FFFF and then write the settings. Go to the S2C module now, that is the left hand side uh, XCTU window. We shall make this as router now. 
that is quite simple set the pan id as 1234 and set the jv enable dl is set to 0 and ce coordinator is uh, disabled now this will become a, a router click on uh, right to save the uh, changes now open the terminal and then uh, check for the communication s2 module is uh, coordinator and s2 c is set as router here now communication is both way possible let us test for s2 c and s1 now remove s2 uh, from the usb adapter and plug on the s1 module select the s2c radio settings on left side xctu and click upgrade firmware select the function set as 802.15.4th and click finish to upgrade leave the channel ch as c pan id 3332 DL is FF FF broadcast mode, and here is the MY my address that is zero, and CE is set as coordinator. Save the changes. Go to the S1 module which is on the right side uh, XCTU window. right side uh, xctu windows is s1 module click on that the function set for s1 is xb24 802.15.4 ch channel is left to uh, default c pan id is 3332 dl is set to 0 and my address my is set to 1 only two modules is there so the second module my is 1 and ce is set to end device now click on write to save the changes now open the terminal and click uh, serial to lock and then check for communication between s1 and s2c so s2c now talks with s1 module s2c is capable of talking with s2 as well as s1 module thank you for watching